Alright everybody, this is Eternal Blade here and welcome to the newest tutorial, Concept to Creation Game Environment. So as you can see here, we have a concept piece here from Fairy Tales, Hansel and Gretel. Uh, this was actually on the Polycount forums for the December Noob Challenge. I thought it would be a good opportunity to uh, just explore a little bit, uh, polish up my skills, and hopefully help some of you guys polish up your skills. Uh, we're going to take this as the title says, from concept to creation, we're going to do the modeling, the block out, the texturing, um, any high poly necessary. And this is going to be more of a stylized tutorial, something different, uh, which I normally don't do. So it'll be a bit new for me, but I think we're going to have a lot of fun uh, doing it in the end. So let's see if I can get this thing to work. There we go. So we're going to break it down into four or five main sections. Uh, the first we're going to do right now, which is the concept breakdown. Uh, we're going to kind of analyze the scene, scene, see what needs to be done, um, figure out what textures we need to make, what models we need to make in the general workflow. Then we're going to go ahead and jump into 3ds Max and do a scene block out. So in there we're going to do a general layout of the scene, trying to find out where the shapes are, get your camera angle, uh, work on the overall dimensions. Uh, from there we'll move into the high poly mode where we'll give the models a bit more detail, some depth. Uh, this will be done in either 3ds Max or in ZBrush. I haven't decided yet because, again, I do these kind of on the fly so you can see my entire workflow. So as we near that section, I will figure it out. I'm not as good with ZBrush, but it's something I want to try, and you, know, you guys can possibly learn from my mistakes. And finally, we're going to go into the texturing. Um, I'm going to try to do something more hand-painted here as that's the general theme of this image. Uh, so with that said, Let's jump over to Photoshop and begin our um, sort of concept breakdown. So what I've done here is I just put the main image on, and this is something you can do with any sort of concept image. Um, and you're going to want to just create a new layer here. That way we can draw on it. And I have a little Wacom tablet here. Hopefully I'll get a better one soon. I have a little bamboo. So main shapes, what are we looking at for? So what are the main things we have to model in this scene? Well, the first thing that stands out to me is this, you know, this piece right here. So, I'm just going to kind of outline it, just so you can see what we're talking about. And this just gives us a good idea of the general you know, area that we need to model. Uh, can I kind of make a straight line over there to save my soul? Oh well, that's life. So, you kind of got this general blocky shape, and you got the one leg and the two legs. So this would be pretty good. It's uh, sort of a cutting board hearth shape thing. You got this little bucket down here. Uh, next, we probably are going to have you know this sort of countertop shape. So you probably have pieces there, there, and there connected on the top and connected on the bottom. And then what I'm guessing is this is an oven over here, as you can see the little pipe going up the back. So it's got to be a square. And I'm guessing this countertop extends over here and kind of comes around back. And then right here, you can see it kind of breaks off, maybe a little bit closer here. But let's just erase that. Make this a little bigger. Okay, so this probably comes a little farther over here and then reaches around. So there you go. And then I can't tell, but I'm thinking this is one piece right here. Okay, the next thing over here, we're going to have this sort of general shape. You got your shelves, and then you got a kind of a main cupboard area. So these shelves are 3D ish. And you got a leg, kind of a shelving area, and that probably extends a little bit back there as well. So our three main things you got this um, sort of square piece up here all the pots and pans are and you've got the whole fireplace area so we'll just give that a good little outline and that has got this little mantle thing on it and this box you've also got a few miscellaneous shells we can leave those for now um, and the way I'm thinking it is there's probably a moon let's do a new layer here and just get some other color to yellow so I'm thinking there's a moon that's shining over here 
and kind of giving light in that direction. So the light's kind of coming out, you know, through here. And I'm also thinking there's a door on the other side. So that light is kind of coming in this direction. So if we're looking at it from a top view, um, let me, I'm actually going to get our concept image here. And again, it's always good uh, before you start the thing, these things to make a project folder. So I've got December challenge references and here's my image right here. So over here, so I'm gonna pull this over to a different monitor. You can print it out or just do a screen, you know, half and half. But now I wanna get a general layout of the top view of this. So let's just do a new layer and we're going to press X to switch our colors and fill it with white. Okay, go back to our brush, X, and we'll just get a black brush again. So overall, we've got a square, or sort of a rectangular shaped room. And we're gonna have uh, the window over here. We're gonna have the one cabinet on the left side. We're going to have the fireplace kind of coming over here okay we're going to have the oven facing there a cabinet kind of coming around here and coming off over there something like that and then we're going to have sort of the island thing in the middle here and so the way I'm thinking about it should have done this on a different layer. Oh well, uh, X, magic of brushes. Okay, so the way it's gonna be is, I think I actually extend this out a little bit. There's probably gonna be a door right here which opens like that. And so like I said, the moon will be over here, kind of shining in. And I'm imagining there's a lantern right here which is going to shine in over there to provide the backlight. And then we're not gonna really worry too much about you know this section of the scene right here, just because it's not really gonna be in our shot. Our camera is gonna be probably right about here with a view of sort of, well, a little more than that. We're gonna be viewing Uh, from here to about here. So that'll be the view we're going to get and everything you know, inside of there within the viewing distance. And they've also got a little wood thing over there and a, a little bucket right there. And so that's generally the kind of layout we're going to follow. And I'm basing all my measurements off the fact that this main thing I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it's six and a half feet long, or whatever that is in metric. And then that'll give us the other dimension. So this one's probably gonna be about two and a half wide. And I'm guessing this is probably gonna be 10 feet that direction. The whole this will be actually the whole house piece and probably 15 feet up and down so this way we can get a general estimate when we're blocking out our shapes um, there's also going to be some support beams uh, that you could see in the other picture over here we're going to have you know, multiple supports that's okay. I've got the layers hidden. Be that way. There we go. So we're going to have multiple supports kind of over here. And yeah, so over here and over on the other side. Um, they're going to be kind of crisscrossing. And the way I'm thinking about it, our roof will be, if we're looking at it head on, we're just going to have kind of a regular roof like this. And then there'll be support another support and then we're gonna have kind of a cross beam and this will be kind of over the fireplace a main beam like this 
and then probably um, our roof will go up and then we're gonna have some more beams here and over here that support the roof as it travels along the leg. Bad drawing, but I think you can get what I'm saying. We're going to have just a support in the middle. I had another one of these done, but I left it uh, at work, so I can't really use it. But anyway, that's going to generate a layout, so we're just going to kind of hop into Max. We've broken down our thing, or our, our model here. And for textures, uh, we're going to have quite a few. Um, we're going to have, let's see here, a texture for, let me go back into our good brush. One of our textures is going to be the wood. Uh, second, we're going to have a stone texture. Uh, we're going to have a bread texture. Um, kind of get this pot texture, you know, cast iron, ceram yellow ceramic, white ceramic, clay. We're going to have whatever this wall is going to be, kind of like a wall texture. Uh, we're going to have to have some glass, some brown glass for this. And we're going to have to have a different bread texture for this. And we have our pie top. We can probably reuse the bread. I'm going to say we reuse it. Um, we're going to have whatever this broth stuff is, or bread, I don't know, what do they call it? Bread mix. Uh, blueberries. Um, let's see, gonna have a knife texture. We can use bread over there, ceramic, ceramic, ceramic. Uh, maybe a, a lighter wood for that. Something for the flowers. Probably a separate texture for the hearth, or not the hearth, but the little mantle piece almost. And that should about do it. Maybe maybe one for the wood and one for the handkerchief thing. And 19 pie for the spider webs up there. And so that'll give us a good layout of our different textures that we're gonna need to be doing. Um, let's see, that should be about it. Can't think of anything else that we really need. Oh, well, maybe the paper bag. If we get to do that, that should be about it. So it'll be a pretty fun model. Um, like I said, again, we're gonna try to do these stylized, hand painted textures with you know, a little bit more, kind of a little more realism, but staying stylized. And then I think the hardest challenge here is probably gonna be this. You know, this area right in here with the fireplace, uh, getting that fire to come up and figure out how we're going to do that. Probably use some form of cheating form by using um, Phoenix FD or Fimo effects or something. Uh, but again, you can always do it in Photoshop as well, or just use a light source and kind of fake it. So I'm going to say this is going to end section one, and in section two, we're going to jump into the uh, model blockout. So I'll see you there.